Don't forget to go to ashkicking.com for pound for pound the best home health and beauty fragrance product. I just told you I didn't want to do no interviews. And you said you are going to do interviews. <laughs> now you told me to do interviews. Now you're trying to take me away from them. <laughs> no. <laughs> let me show. Hey, let me show. Let me show Dante's Boxing Nation some love. That's what I'm talking Dante, about. Dante, he, he's been at the Mayweather Boxing Club for years, uh, grinding, working hard. Dante also, you know paid a lot of his own money just like a lot of different other companies to support us so I must show love back Dante's Boxing Nation over here with the, with the professor I'm calling him the professor my man Kofi Jantua former knockout artist at 154 Mikey Garcia versus Robert Easter I mean I'll, I'll put my money on a, uh, what his name uh, Mikey Put your money on Mike. I put my money on Mike. I mean, uh, he says he's a decent fighter, good fighter. I mean, young young prospect. But Mikey show a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, Mike is one of the guys that I've been watching. I like him. He's he's a real student of the game. He show discipline. He show you a lot of different stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm happy about his progress. So this fight, I think. It's, gonna, it's, it's a tough fight for uh, Easter. I think Robert Easter going to give him a tough fight, though. You know? yeah, yeah, but you're yeah, picking, right, right, but you're yeah. picking Mikey. You, you yeah, say you think right, Mikey going to win? Yeah, yeah, Mikey throw a lot of punches, but Robert Easter is also, he also really slick and stuff, too. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a good, like, tough fight for both of them. I, I don't really know the pick. Yet. Oh, okay, no, you picking somebody. That's good. I just need a pick, man. Uh, Y'all hearing it from um, one of the amateur standouts, standouts, my man, Bear. Matter of fact, introduce yourself to everybody, man. Um, I'm, I'm Bear. I'm 17. Uh, I come from Detroit like four years ago. I've been like boxing out here for a while and stuff. But hopefully, um, I'm gonna fight in the Roy Jones Jr. tournament. It's uh, June seventh, eighth, and 9th, I think at the uh, maybe uh, what is it, Cox Pavilion at UNLV. So, yeah, That's what it is. check that out. Y'all heard it from Bear. Yo, you want him to follow you? Uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram at uh, Poppy Shahid. I don't know. That's a tough. That's a tough so, yeah, yeah. but. Uh, that's, that's a tough I'm going to tell you. But I like uh, Robert Easter's hungry enough. I like Robert Easter. And I've been seeing Mikey back down a little bit lately. I've been seeing a couple of, I've been seeing a, a little, quite a few holes in his arsenal. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to, I'm not going to talk at liberty to speak on him yet because I got guys that's in his weight class. So I just saved that. But I've been seeing Mikey Garcia regressing a little bit. Robert Easter's a home group kid and he's probably one of the most talented out there that's getting ready to fight Mike Garcia. It's Boxing Nation over here with the man Jerome Debo. What's going on Coach Debo? How you doing? How you doing? All, all right man. Uh, let's get some um, predictions. Mikey Garcia versus Robert Easter. Oh Mikey. I gotta give it to Mikey. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because to me he's more of the accurate puncher to me, you know. He put his combo together and he nailed it. He nailed it. So that's why I roll with him. You know? Okay. It's from you. Robert Easter versus Mikey Garcia. <laughs> I remember he was talking to Kofi. He said everybody said oh oh Mikey Garcia man. Yeah. Everybody oh, picked Mikey Garcia. I, I, I can't lie man. I don't see Robert Easter being Mikey Garcia. There it is. I don't see it. I just don't you see You don't it. see it. I don't see it. I'm not saying it's impossible. I just don't see it. I yeah. That, hey, that's that's big props to Mikey Garcia, man. Yeah. I mean, now now the funny thing though, the funny thing is Mikey Garcia even said that out of all the champions, he thought that Robert Easter would be the most difficult to beat. He said that a while ago. He said um, because of his height, his reach. He said that about a year ago. And then when I asked him about that, like recently, he said, "Oh, I don't feel that way anymore because of his last performance against Fortuna." So it'll be let interesting. Thing, let me tell you the thing about about uh, Robert Easter. You know what I mean, now, I, I know this. He liked to bang. He, he had a height advantage over a lot of fighters, but he like a um, he remind me of like a guy like Paul Williams or Diego Corrales. Yeah, give, up height, advantage, give up his height. Give up his height. Give up his height to bang. You know what I mean, and I think that'll work against him against uh, against uh, Mikey. Mikey Garcia. Yeah, I think that'll work against him. I know that'll work against him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, but Robert, Robert used to do train hard. You know what uh -huh, I'm saying, from uh -huh. what I see and what I hear, he train hard. So uh -huh, you can't uh -huh. never uh, 
that was the man that, that put that work in play. I feel you. I feel you. In fact, what's your for, your full name again? Jorge Chavez Leon. All right, y'all heard it from Dante's Boxing Nation over here on my man Jorge. Matter of fact, introduce yourself to the world. Give me your full name, your background, and everything. My name is Jorge Chavez Leon. I trade out. I train out of Vacaville, California, and I'm just checking out the Mayweather Gym right uh -huh. now. What what brought you to what brought you to the Mayweather Gym? What it what? Uh, well, I mean, I look up to Mayweather. You know what I mean when I see him on TV. So. I'm here in town, so I just had to come through and see yeah. see where he trains at. It's like a museum you got to check out when you come to Vegas, huh? Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. cool, man. A live museum. Okay, um, Jorge, let me ask you. Um, I want you to give me some predictions. Uh, Mikey Garcia versus Robert Easter. Man, I think it's going to be a tough fight for Mikey, but I think he's going to pull it off. Yeah, bro. Okay, okay. Uh, he's, uh, he's under a good uh, training you know, family, you know, he's from the family, uh, he's from the Garcia family, so, you know, they always come prepared, and, but I, th I think Mikey's going to pull it off. It's going to be tough, but Mikey's going to pull it off. So, uh, so what do you think about um, Mikey Garcia? He's supposed to be in negotiation to fight against Robert Easter. Who, who wins that fight? I'm always rocking with the home team, man. You know, Robert Easter, I've been, I've been around Bunny. Yeah, I've been around Bunny a long time, man. I watched him, perform, you know, become world champion. I watched him come up as a young buck and now I look at a world champion so I'm always ride for him you know what I mean I'm, I'm a boxing fan at the end of the day mm -hmm. so I want to see a good fight but you know I'm, I'm a ride with Robert Easton for sure